Girl, you a walking trophy You a walking trophy My girl, you a walking trophy Yeah, your friends, them a walking trophy Tell a girl, say Girl, you know, say you're pretty from your bum Hi babies, Miss Tufania, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be doing a get ready with me. I wanted to do a chit chat video, but the breeze was blowing. So I talk some of the times while I'm going to have to do a voiceover. But I came up with this look because I'm going to the party. It's the estate. And so I wanted to, you know, do a tutorial. Beat in my face. <laughs> so this is what I came up with. And listen. Babes, I'm come out today. <laughs> so yeah, I think I need to go more often. I'm too nice to stay home. I think so. I'm too nice to stay home. Choo -choo. But I really, really love this look. So if you guys want to see how I get this look done, then definitely just keep on watching. Oh, I also plan to, you know, do some little snippets from the party and add on to this video. So just look out for it. <laughs> so it's not a full vlog, you know. So don't worry but i'll show you clippings so let's just get right into the video so i'm going to start out by priming my eyelids using the la girl pro concealer in the shade fawn i'm going to be placing this all over the lid and then i am going to go in with a bh cosmetics brush and blend this out i'm trying a new method and i actually like it so i'm using brush to apply my concealers and i'm not going to set it i'm going to go into my morphe 35w palette and i'm picking up this peachy shadow and I'm going to be using this as my transition shadow. I'm going to go back into the same palette and I'm picking up this purple shadow you see it looks like it have shimmer in it it actually doesn't so I freaking love this shadow like I'm killing it right now so I'm going to be applying this into the crease area and I'm doing this on both sides and I'm going to blend it out until I get to my desired shade that I'm going for going back into the palette i'm going to be using the black shadow and i want this look to be so dark so that's why i'm going in with the black on top of the purple to give it that smoky look and i'm using the same brush as well this is a bh cosmetics brush set that i'm using and this look it requires a lot of blending so it took me a minute to complete but you gotta blend 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 Going back into the palette, I'm going to be using this gold shadow. This is so pretty, guys. Um, I've been sleeping on this palette a bit. But let me tell you, this is my first Morphe palette that I ever bought. Well, I actually got this as a gift. But yeah, I'm applying the gold shadow to a section of my lid because I'm going to go in with a lighter shimmer shadow in the crease area. And so I am patting this onto the lid first. Then I'm picking up the black shadow and I'm just uh, blending back out my outer V area since I lost a little bit of the smoky effect while applying the gold shadow then i'm going to go into the palette and i'm using a lighter shimmer shadow as i mentioned and i'm putting this into my inner v area i'm just trying to give it like a gradient effect listen when i completed this look i was shook like i was so in love with it 
and I'm literally packing it on until I get to my desired look that I'm going for. So using my favorite lashes of late that I got from Amazon, which is the Professional Lagos K01 lashes, I'm going to quickly apply this. I do have a tutorial on how I apply my lashes, which will be linked down in the description box. So you guys can check it out at a later date. So moving on to the face. So I'm going to be spraying my face with the Mario Badascu facial spray. <laughs> and I'm just going to let that dry. Okay. I'm also going to be applying the milk and magnesia so it can dry as well. And I'm literally just placing this in the areas that I usually get shiny. I'm going to be applying my foundation now that the milk and magnesia and the facial spray has dried up. So I'm going to be highlighting using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Fawn and Toast and I'm just going to apply one and then put the other on top of it and then I blend it out. Yo, I legit thought it was recording but it wasn't and so I applied the Fawn first and now I am going in with the Toast and I'm applying it under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, my forehead, my cupid bow and and my chin area then I am going in with a damped beauty blender I, I don't think I've ever shared where I got my beauty blenders from I bought this from samsbeauty.com I think it's like two dollar and you get buy one get one free basically so yeah I've been using this and it's it's a knockoff but it's pretty good as well so if you're looking for something inexpensive this is a good one So on to contouring, I'm using the Black Opal Stick Foundation in Walnut and I'm cream contouring. As I said guys, I cream contour whenever I am going out and I'm sitting to, you know, give my face a good beat down. Yes, I usually cream contour. And so first I'm going in with a brush and I got this from my Boxy Charm box, which is the Luxy brush. And I'm going to be quickly blending this out. Then I'm going to go in with my Damped Beauty Blender, you know, to seal out any harsh lines I may have after using the brush. So onto setting the face, I'm using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder with the black opal loose powder and i am quickly setting as you guys know i don't bake i no longer bake i just don't think it's necessary anymore and so oh my god look at my face coming together like i was so in love with this look Then I am going to be taking the Face by Shanna setting powder and set the rest of my face. And as you guys can see, I'm pulling it down on my neck because I did place some foundation on that section. So onto setting my contoured areas, I am going to be using the Covergirl Ebony Bronze to 
put back some shape into my face and listen i don't know what else to use so if you guys have uh any products that you have used to contour you can let me know so i can try but this is my all-time favorite and as you guys can see i'm using a more detailed brush for my nose contour area and then as i always tell you guys i use my powder brush to just smooth out any harsh line you know i want my nose to look so natural as if i was born this way <laughs> So for my blush, I'm using the MAC powder blush in Devil. This is my favorite. Like, I get so many blushes, but I always revert back to this blush. So for highlighting today, I'm using Booming, the Shayla Times Color Pop collab. Listen, I am in love with this. You see, I'm using it to go out, so you know I love it. So I'm going to be applying the same shadows that I used on the top of my eyes but first I'm going to be lining my waterline with a black liner pencil and as I said guys I want to have a smoky look so I'm really going in with the pencil. Then I'm going to be taking the first peach shadow and blend this below my waterline area. Then I'm taking the purple and the black mix together to smoke out my waterline. Then I'm going to be using the Tartius mascara to apply to my bottom lashes. Listen, this makes me look as if I have a lot of airs on my lower lash line. I don't. So I am going to be lining my lips with a brown pencil as I usually do. Then I'm going to be applying this nude lip gloss that I got from my Ipsy box. Listen, I need to Google this lip color because I love it so much. I tend to not use it a lot because I don't want it to run out. <laughs> but yeah. Then I'm going to be using my Colourpop Ultra Glossy in Finders Keepers. Then to set my face, I'm using the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. And this uh, completes the look. Okay, so <laughs> the plan was to leave here at 4, then change to 4 30. I'm already, I'm stepped already, but um, so I'm just having an hour for leave out. And then I can take you guys with me. Or oh, if I never tell you guys where I'm going, I'm going to the estate. You know, a little party. Lily, Lily, mommy loves you. <laughs> She's so sweet. Ah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. I understand the journey. <laughs> Me love you deep in my heart, yes sir. Me love, me love, hey, me love. Cause you're the right kind of girl. What for bring to up my son or my dad, yes sir. Now when you're near fine wine. Girl, I saw your sexy, I love my timeline. I've been think about the future, feel like some of my friends. Okay, so I think I'm going to take care. Yeah. This guy's a bit fling, but no. Nah, now from... Please be, no lie. Please be, no lie. Okay, so I'm on my way to meet Stephanie. Actually... <laughs> Changed my ear color and I'm absolutely in love with the color. Really? Here's Princess Lee. Hey mama, you alright? So Lee, I come with me. Hey look some more, you alright? Mama? <laughs> She's not having excuse her ear. To me I got me to get for commit. So yeah. Listen, these lashes are everything. 
bought I bought them on, on I bought them on Amazon so I link them down down in the description box for you guys below because uh, them late. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who's pretty baby is this? <laughs> Who's here? Ooh. Hey baby. Girl, girl looks so nice. I'm feeling so pretty. Yes, and it's all made by me. Yes, the earrings, the necklace, and the dress of the clothes. <laughs> Girl, the necklace is so cute. I actually made it today. Thank you so much. I no wanted problem. a layered look. And you are looking so cute. Thank you, babe. Love the dress. <laughs> <laughs> so funny, the necklace is so nice. <laughs> much for watching i really hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial as well as the little clippings that i put in there from the party don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy the video follow me on all my social medias if you guys want to like keep up with me i love you guys so 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 much and i'll see you in the next one bye baby you are walking trophy you are walking trophy my girl you are walking trophy yeah, your friends them a walking trophy Tell a girl say, girl you know say you're pretty from your